Do you have any computer, internet, or technology questions? Feel free to ask them at cleartechinfo.com. Remember, the only stupid question is a question you don't ask. This video tutorial will continue from the previous one in this series. Now log into your WordPress.com account and go to your dashboard where we left off the last time was under the user settings, specifically your profile. I'll show you how to upload your own Gravatar, which stands for Globally Recognized Avatar. Click Upload a New Image from your computer or there's other options here you could use. Click Browse. I've already created a an avatar beforehand. So I'll select this one. Click Next. And here you could crop it. Click Crop and Finish. And rate your avatar. This is of course G rated, so I'll rate it G. Click Update Profile. And there's your new Gravatar. Next, go to Appearance, Themes, there are a lot of different themes available. When you register for a free website, your theme will look like this. It's pretty decent, but everyone gets a theme and some people don't even know how to change it. So a lot of people have the same theme. So what you do is just sort through everything here, check it out, or check everything out. And then if you see something you like, click preview, see how it looks, if you don't like it, click the X. If you see something you like, click it again, and if you want to add this as your theme, Click here, activate. Your new theme has been applied. To check it out, go to your website and hit refresh a couple times. There's your new theme. When everybody goes to your website, this is what they'll see. I'll go back to the settings, go to widgets. If you do not know what a widget is or where they belong, go back to your site. And right here on this sidebar, it doesn't look like a bar, but, but this is what we, what we call a sidebar. Usually it's on the right side or sometimes it's on the left. This is where all the widgets will be placed. I'll customize it. Throw the archives. Right now, there's only one test article, but once you have 50, 100, 200 articles, it's very, very good to, to place this in your, on your sidebar. You can name it whatever you want. You can place the calendar. When you are done, go to your site and hit refresh a few times. And the widgets will be applied. Go up to pages. All the pages on your site will be static and only edited individually. You already have one about p 
page that is already placed there when you create a new free website. This is what it looks like. Here's your about page and you can enter whatever you want. It will always stay the same no matter what. Unlike at the main home page, this will be dynamic content. The articles will be piled up though with the newest one at the top. The older one will, will get dropped down and this will always be changing as long as you keep on adding new articles. But your page will stay the same. You could always edit it, but it will pretty much stay the same when you create new articles. Go to media. If you like to upload some pictures, you have three gigabytes of space that they give you for free. That's plenty enough for pictures. All you need to do is just go to add new. Click select files. Now you would create your first post. When you first create your website, they always throw in a test post. This is a standard one that's always thrown in, just so you can see how it looks like. This is how you create a new post. Click add new. Add a title. Here is the content area. I'll just throw something up there really quick. Then for your tag, tag is something that's similar to the title of your post or subject or relates to your to the subject of your content. I'll type in computer help guide. Although it's not mentioned in here, when you put it as a tag in case anybody searches for computer help guide, they'll come upon your post because it's related to it and you typed it here. Categories. Categories are similar to a library card. When you want to look up a certain subject, let's say you um, want to look up a science book, you just go to the science section. Category. Site related. I'll add an image. You could select files to upload something from your computer or a URL like a website or your media library if you already have it on there. Then select insert into post. Something you could also do is insert a video. Then here, let's say add video, click that. From URL. And it tells you what type of URL it needs from YouTube. If you go there, or you can grab it from Google or daily motion. Go to the video page you want. Click here. URL. Right click. Copy. Go back here. Paste. Click this button. Insert into post. Video will be inserted when you click preview or publish. Your post is published. You can go to your page, refresh. This is the first post. And this is a previous one. See the older ones always get dropped down. That is WordPress.com Beginner Basics.